Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video today. I'm so glad that you stopped by. Um, please don't forget to subscribe on your way out. So today I'm at the Dollar Tree. It's right there. And I am going to be going in and trying to see what school supplies I can find off my kids list. Um, and get everything I can at the Dollar Tree first to be more budget friendly before I go looking at like Walmart or Target or wherever else. I wrote down their list. So I have the fifth grade list there and then the first grade list on the bottom there. And then I also just went ahead and wrote down the wish list items that their teachers wrote. We only have about two weeks before school starts here. So I really need to get a jump start on this. Neither of my kids need a backpack this year. Um, I bought both of them pretty good ones last year, so they're going to reuse them. Um, and I don't think they should need lunch boxes either, but if they do, we'll, we'll handle that. There are a few things like the pencil pouches and stuff like that, that I'll just let them pick from Walmart. I'm mostly going to be looking at the stuff in the Dollar Tree. That's like notebooks, you know, stuff that they don't really care about it being like fancier or whatever. And I'm going to show you guys what they have. So let's go shopping in the Dollar Tree and see what we can find. Okay. Here it goes. Here goes nothing. They still have the summer picnic, summer savings signs up. So hopefully we find some back to school stuff. Let's see. Okay, so Kylie's teacher asked for Ziploc baggies. I think we'll go ahead and grab these gallon ones, as well as some of these sandwich baggies, but they have a lot of different options here. A lot of different storage options, of course. Um, but I see back here all the school supplies. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what we can find. Okay, so both of my kids needed a pair of scissors, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of them, the green ones, and then one, the yellow ones. Kylie's teacher asked for glue sticks, but I do think that, that that's pretty cool. Uh, we did have dry erase markers on the wish list, so I'll just go ahead and grab a couple of those. Looks like they have a bunch of calculators, sticky notes. Okay, so sticky notes were on the Rising's teacher's wish list. Let's see what else we can find. I do like that dry erase board, but I don't think we needed one of those. Maybe I should get Bryson some like bigger kid scissors for his. I know we need that pencil sharpener, but I'm not sure I can reach that. But there are some pencil sharpeners up there. There's index tabs, like if you had a kid. Um, it's like marking things. Good vibes only. A little notebook. I like these student planners that they have. Those look like they'd be very helpful for like writing down schoolwork and stuff. I think I'm gonna grab one of these. Um, for each of the kids so that they can keep track of stuff like at home that they need to do. Oh, actually maybe I'll grab the, um, the post-it sticky notes instead of those other ones. Let's see what else. We just have some crayons down here. Bryson's teacher asked for some pens, but I'm not sure she meant gel pens. So I might throw these in the cart and see what else we can find. I know she wanted four different colors. Oh, what about these ones? Those are four different colors. We'll pick up our hoodies and see like what we need to get going. I am gonna grab a couple of these glue sticks. This Kylie's teacher. These are some like jumbo glue sticks. I'm very impressed so far with what we got crayons up there for a dollar. I'm gonna grab some of those. Oh, maybe I'll grab those gel pens way at the top. Guys, I can't reach all this stuff though, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> Okay, so there's like a ton of stuff I need to mark off. So we can already mark off colored pens. Let's see what else. We're going to grab two packs of crayons. So we can mark that off. The glue sticks. I need to do the pencil sharpener. I grabbed sticky notes. 
scissors for both kids. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I do think I'm gonna take one of these out. Um, maybe the green ones, since I'm not, since I grabbed by some of the bigger ones. Let's see what else. I'm doing really good so far, I'm actually very impressed. I'm gonna attempt to get that pencil sharpener. <laughs> I don't think. Oh wait, I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. Uh, yes, got it. Okay, so this is actually two pencil sharpeners, so we'll keep one at home and have her send one in. I want these. If I can get them. Pens up here. I think those are the best ones that I've seen so far. I'm gonna take these other. I might take these ones just for having at the house when we put these on. And then I'm gonna grab these two packs of crayons. That'll be Carly's crayons that she needs. I'm gonna go down and look at like notebooks and stuff, but look how much stuff. We've been here like five minutes and we've already gotten that much stuff. needed two of them so I went ahead and grabbed two of those. Hmm. I'm gonna grab myself a couple little notebooks. So Bryson needed a five subject notebook which I am not seeing here. Folders. They have portfolio folders, pocket folders. They even have sheet protectors, which I think is pretty. Oh, that's sketch pop. I think I'm gonna grab that. Let's see what else is over here. So they have some like pencil pouches that you can put in a binder, but I'm not sure that these would hold up that well. I don't know. These are legal pads. I don't know that I'm gonna grab that here. Some different like note packs. I'm gonna try out the actual school supplies aisle and see like if I can find some mechanical pencils for Bryson. Cause they said that he could have those this year. They have these ones here, which I like. So I might grab him these and then Let's see. Do we see any more? Maybe these ones? Grab them a couple packs. Oh, here's some up there that are like, oh, these are like gel pens. Not sure if that's what I'm looking for. And I was hoping that I would find a five subject notebook over here. That looks like something I'll have to get at Walmart. They have some more like binders and stuff over here, but I don't really see any um, two inch binders. I see one inch, so I'm not going to be able to grab those here, I don't think. Um, but I do see like staplers and correction tape and binder clips, like they legit have, they even have like dot labels where you can label like the little flag ones where you can label stuff inside. Um, and then of course the teacher section, but I don't see anything that I think that we need from there. So I actually did pretty good on my list here. Um, I didn't find a composition book with graph paper, but like most of the other stuff, I was going to try and see if I could find hand sanitizer. Um, but I haven't seen any of that, but I think I have some of that at home. I'm on the party aisle now for some reason. I just happened to adventure over here. And then I was going to take a peek at fall stuff, but it, again, it doesn't really look like they have a ton of stuff out yet. Most of this is just florals and that's all I've seen so far, but oh, so I did find some pencil boxes, um, but I might let Kylie pick one. These are just colorful and I might, I don't know. Let's see how good of like, quality. Yeah, I don't know. I might let her pick one like of these at the dollar store. 
or not the dollar store at Walmart or something. Um, these little containers are pretty cool, like for um, paper clips or stuff, something like that. Oh, so we did need block erasers. That's something else I can mark off. And then they do have all these pretty hair bands and stuff here, which I have been obsessed with for Kylie. So I'm gonna grab her a few. I'll show you guys everything that I got in the car when I get out there. But I think I'm done. They do have some really pretty notebooks. I wish they had graph paper. It's one thing that I didn't find as well. All of these composition books, Bryson's teacher wants a composition book with graph paper. And I did not see that, but I do have some workbooks, multiplication, pre-K math, all that kind of stuff, so. Okay, let's go ahead and pay and then head back to the car. I got a lot of Okay, stuff. I'm back in the car now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up and what I actually got off the school list. So, this was their school list and you can see that I'm only missing a few things. So I didn't find headphones, a two inch binder, a pencil pouch, tissues, graph paper, you know, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily think that I would find at the dollar store. The only things I'm missing for Kylie were a pencil box. I'm just going to let her pick um, Kleenex and wet wipes. And I might've been able to find Kleenex there, but I didn't really look that hard. Okay. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of bags and show you what I got. I showed you guys these baggies. Her teacher asked for baggies on the wish list, So I got some gallon ones and then just some like, um, you know, not gallon snack size. <laughs> next one. These were not school supplies, but these were more like for fall decor. So I found these straw bales. They're like, I don't know. Oh, okay. So it says two and a half inches by two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So it's like a rectangle. Um, but I got two of those. I figured I would use these in fall decor and I had not seen those previously at any other Dollar Tree. And then I also picked her up some like hair bows and stuff for school. So these ones are our favorite ones to use. And these match the color of her uniform, especially these like bottom three, I would say, of her uniform that they have to wear to school. And then same thing with these. These are very uniform friendly ponytail holders. And then these little clips as well. I bought the gold ones a couple of weeks ago and um, decided to go back and get the gray ones. And then I did find hand sanitizer at the dollar store for school as well. I'm going to send one into each classroom. Um, Bryson's teacher didn't ask for them. So maybe I won't send them into his class. I don't know. We'll just have to see what I decided to do and what Bryson wants to do. Like if he wants to take it in or not. This was something that I just picked up because I thought it looked so cool. So it is an LED lamp. I'm going to open this up and see what it looks like. So this is like a, so it even comes with the light bulb, the LED light bulb. I was thinking this would be good for Kylie's um, room that we're redoing. Oh, so I guess this would sit on top of, let's see if I can pull this off. Yeah, so it's on top of the light bulb, so it would sit up a little bit higher, but this is black, and this looks really cool. So it's got an on and off switch. I mean, this was a dollar, you know? So we're gonna try this out and see how it works and see if this is something that I want to use in her room. We're redoing her room, like I mentioned, soon. Um, and this would go with like the sort of matte theme that we're going for, so that might get used on her dresser. Oh, I forgot to put the light bulb back in there. So then I picked up, this is the weirdest angle. I found some of these, now I don't know how to say this name, Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga, the pencils that are really popular. It says the world's best pencil. They had a four pack at the dollar store. Kylie's teacher asked for pencils. So I grabbed two of them and I will have her put those in her pencil box. You guys saw me trying to get this sharpener. Um, so it comes in a two packs. So I will probably just leave one at home for her to play with, like with colored pencils and stuff, and then one at school. Bryson's teacher asked for highlighters, like as one of the optional things. So I grabbed these two packs. So um, it's like double sided. The one side on both of them is yellow, and then there's a blue end and an orange end. And I grabbed two of the packs of those. And then Bryson's teacher also asked for dry erase markers. 
So I went ahead and grabbed two packs of those. This is red, blue, and black. There we go. This is by the brand Ink, which I've never seen before, but it says it has low odor, bold, vivid colors. And then Bryson, this is the first year that he's been allowed to have um, lead pencils in or mechanical pencils at school. So I grabbed a couple different ones for him to try. These ones um, have like the clicker on the top that you would just like when you're holding it, click it instead of clicking it up there so that has four different colors and there's several pieces of lead in each one and then this is three leads in each pencil refillable comfort grip and it is a five pack so i went ahead and grabbed those two for him to use this year at school and then his teacher also asked for gel pens and i wasn't sure i think i grabbed a couple so i thought he would like these ones so these are orange pink purple and green and they have the lids, like different, I'm assuming this is for like taking notes and stuff. So I grabbed him that one, and then I also grabbed this one. So ultimately I think I'm gonna let him decide which pack he wants to take. This one has red, so it's several different colors. So there's no color duplicates. So it's like red, pink, orange, magenta, purple, teal, black, and blue. So that one, I'm gonna let him choose which one he wants, I think. I grabbed them each a pair of scissors, Kylie the safety yellow pair, and then Bryson like a more adult pair since he is going to be in fifth grade and he his are red. Two packs of crayons, Kylie's teacher asked, ooh, made with solar power. Interesting. This crayon said it was made with solar, solar powder. So these are the 24 packs. I grabbed one for her to have at home. Her teacher asked for like one to leave at home and one for, um, leaving at school. She was supposed to have some eraser blocks, so I grabbed this big pack of those. And then these post-its, Bryson's teacher asked for these um, to have as like an optional thing. So it looks like there's two, like a yellow pack and a gray pack in each one. So I grabbed two of those to send in. Had some glue sticks on her list, so I grabbed these two. Somebody in the store, I'm starting to sweat y'all. I turned the AC off so that it wouldn't be like so super loud because you guys are sitting like on the air vent thing and it's hot <laughs> but um the somebody said that these were a little bit dry but they don't seem dry to me like somebody said that i should open them up and check them in the store because she's gotten them before and they were dry they don't seem dry to me they're jumbo glue sticks easily washes off hands and clothes for a quick cleanup i mean these are huge and they were only a dollar piece obviously so i grabbed two of those for kylie Okay, and the next things are, okay, and the next things are like different notebooks that I got. So I picked Bryson and Kylie each up one of these student planners. I picked this one for Bryson. These are by the Jot brand, and it looked like they have like the full um, year interview and then the month interview and then also like places for them to add notes and stuff. So I thought this would be good for them, especially Bryson getting into fifth grade to be able to like write down assignments that he has coming up, projects, stuff like that. So, and then in the back, there's like a holiday list and all that stuff. And it actually goes all the way through July. So it goes from August, 2021 through July, 2022. So I picked up this one for Bryson and then this fun one for Kylie, really more so just so that she didn't feel left out. Um, I don't know how much work she'll have in first grade, but here's my receipt. We spent $39 and 59 cents, which is a lot in the dollar store. So Kylie had composition notebooks on her list. Bryson on had him, them on his list as well, but on his list, they were composition graph notebooks, which I'm not sure I've ever seen. So I don't know. We'll have to check that out. But I did pick these two composition books out for Kylie. So this one sort of matches the like polka dot theme on her planner that I got her. And it's just notebook paper inside. And then this fun one as well. They had a lot of different designs, which I think I showed you guys a little bit of what they had to offer. And then I actually picked up some notebooks. Oh, here those guys are walking behind me. Let's lock my doors, guys. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, I'm not sure... I, if I've told you guys this yet or not, just in the order of the way videos are coming out, but I'm going to need, with a new video that I'm doing, a new series, whatever, I'm going to need some notebooks. I'm going to be needing to take some notes. So I picked these two up for myself. They're just regular, like, spiraled 
notebooks. So those are for me. And then I picked this sketch pad. This is the last thing I got this up for Kylie. So this is actually a really good deal and something that I didn't know the dollar store sold. So this real images brand is actually the one like you can go to Walmart right now and pay like four or $5 for this. So, um, I think that she's really going to enjoy like coloring. She loves to like do all you guys know, loves to do all sorts of crafty things. So that's everything I got. And like I mentioned, there's only so Bryson still needs like a handful of things. And then, like I mentioned, Kylie only needs a pencil box, Kleenex and white, wet, wet wipes and headphones. And two of those things are on the, like, we wish for these, but don't, aren't requiring. I usually try to fulfill the wish list if I can. Um, so yeah, guys, so I would 100% recommend going in like your dollar store before you went in like Target, Walmart, you know, any other place five below even because you are going to find a good majority of what your kids need on the list or at the dollar store. So I hope that I showed you guys that you can get your school supplies very budget friendly. Um, I will show you guys after I pick everything else up that they need, I'll kind of give, do a haul along with their school clothes. I think I'm going to do that. So stay on the lookout for that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about tomorrow's video. It's something that is different yet within my realm still. I don't know. I hoping that you guys like it. Um, so yeah, until tomorrow, guys, have a fantastic evening and a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.